Did you guys hear they have aesthetic items at Dollar Tree for cleaning? Let's go check it out. Well, guys, they don't. It's all the same basic stuff. I don't know. I feel like melatonin is drugs, and I don't want to, like, give it to the kids. Hey, guys. My name is Lena. I'm a mother of eight. I recently moved my kids out of the city of San Francisco. It moved into a big, beautiful house in the suburbs, Central California. I'm definitely taking room by room. My house is my canvas, and I like doing vlogs, DIY projects, antiquing, thrifting. I love decorating my home with thrifted goods, but I am totally anti-clutter. Some of the last videos I've made have been focusing on the bar renovation. If you're interested in that, the playlist will be linked below. But hey, make sure to subscribe and let's have a lot of fun. You know what? Before I could afford luxury, I used to buy a bunch of fake, not really aware of bags, just like trinkets, stuff like that. This is the last fake item in my closet. And I'm, I don't know, I can't bring myself to donate it to Goodwill because I just think it looks so authentic and it's cute. But yeah, before I, I used to splurge, see what I used to do is all my income from my Etsy and my like my website, I used to buy like designer bags, you know? But I'm kind of over that now. I'm just like into buying property. But oh my god, I made the biggest mistake. I left the heat on in the in the duplex back east, so I'm like paying for heat. So I gotta find a way, reach out to my old realtor and see if she can go in there and turn the heat down. But I just want to show you my most prized possession is my Kelly to go. That's like my most prized bag. And then I do also have also have the coordinating belt, but it's in a different finish. I forget what this color is called, but yeah. But anyways, am I crazy for still keeping this box? It's so cute, right? So I'm just gonna keep it. So I just use it for like housing my perfumes, stuff like that. I just think so. I think it looks pretty right there. Okay, Victoza, Wagobi, whatever this shit is called, it does not work. Okay. It does not work. So I've been on Ozempic and Sustenda and all that stuff for a while. And I was getting Ozempic black market. And then when I try to get it through my insurance, she's like, there's a shortage. We're going to try something else. And I should have known because my doctor's super heavy set that she's against this stuff. Anyways, I had to tell her, Victoza does not work. I want to try to do it on my own, but it's like, I need a little help right now because your, your girl is getting a little bit fat. But anyways, when I went to the Asian market, I did pick this up and the ad said, Dark Spot Correct and Glow Serum has niacinamide, squalene, and hippophe remnoids fruit extract. Anyways, when I was like 12, I bought a book called Fruit Acids for Fabulous Skin. So I'm not against putting papaya, or banana, or any real fruit on your skin. And I remember I did reach out to somebody before on YouTube. They're like, oh, it's better to get it out of the factory, like made clinically proven trials and all that. Man, Ned has been using natural fruit extracts on her skin for thousands of years. I'm always gonna go with the natural form of something, if I can. So it looks like this. Kind of reminds me of Dr. Is that one? Dr. Something that they have at Sephora. So let's give it a try. Looks pretty. Okay, from the Asian grocery store, make sure you get you some fried fish. You pick out the fish and they will definitely fry it for you. I like to get shrimp toast. This is in the frozen section. Chinese sausage, plenty of pork belly. Some barbecue sauce for the pork belly. Different ramen, they've got a bunch of assorted flavors. I love picking up rice noodles. You can get dry thyme, different brands, Cambodian, Asian, Lao. Plenty of garlic, mint shredded carrot, ginger, broccoli, frozen wontons, which everyone loves. If you like making your own pho and soups, get this crab paste. It's super delicious. Here's more beef broth. I like yumeboshi, this little Japanese thing. Get you some soybean paste, make miso soup. Get you some fried tofu, delicious in there. Various drinks, assorted pot stickers, egg rolls. Puff paratha is my favorite. I love these green onion crackers. And my kids love these fish balls.